purpose of this video is to give you a quick overview of how to navigate the Westlaw platform. There will be supplemental videos later on that focus on how to search for cases, statutes, and other legal materials. The default home page, or tab as they are called in Westlaw, is the Law School tab. The Law School tab groups and organizes all of the resources available on Westlaw that a law student would commonly need. If you look on the left side of the Law School tab, you will see that there are several functions that enable users to quickly access resources on Westlaw. These functions include the Find by Citation box, Key Cite this citation, Search for a Database, and Black's Law Dictionary. The search box on Westlaw allows users to search within databases by using terms and connectors or natural language. You will learn about the distinction between these two methods of searching in legal bibliography. Before you can run a search, you must select which databases to search. You can select a database by clicking on those listed below the search box. The databases below the search box are organized based on type of resource. Most tabs in Westlaw will have a box devoted to statutes, cases, administrative materials, and secondary sources. You can expand how many resources are shown in a given box by clicking Show All. Likewise, you can contract the number of resources shown by clicking Show Less. You can also adjust the number of databases that are shown in a box by clicking Edit. One important aspect of these boxes to note is that each resource has several hyperlinks beside them. The first hyperlink is the Database Identifier. If you click the Database Identifier, it will take you into that database. From there you will have the option to search by terms and connectors or natural language. It is also important to note here that you can return to the home page of the tab you are in by clicking on the tab name at the top of the page. The scope function is also important to explore when searching a database. The scope gives you information on the database including the coverage and the content. This is a very useful function when looking at secondary sources. In addition to looking at the scope and searching the database, some databases will allow users to browse the table of contents or browse the index. Sometimes you will find that it is easier to find information using the index or the table of contents instead of searching across the entire database. One last thing I will note about the home page is that you can move the resource boxes around. Simply hover over the title, left click, and drag to a desired location. This gives you a little flexibility in how you want your tabs to look. You can add additional tabs by clicking on Add a Tab in the top right of the screen. Adding additional tabs may be useful if the majority of your research pertains to a specific area of law or jurisdiction. To add a tab, simply click on Add Westlaw Tabs, select a topic or jurisdiction, and then click Add to My Tab Set. You can also use this function to set one of your tabs as your default tab. The default tab will be your home page every time you log into Westlaw. Four other important functions on Westlaw are located at the top of the screen in blue. Those functions are Find and Print, Key Site, Directory, and Key Numbers. Find and Print enables you to enter a legal citation and have it print to the Westlaw printer without having to open the document. Keysight will allow you to enter a legal citation and go straight into the Keysight report without having to have already pulled up that case. You will learn additional information about Keysight in another video. Directory will allow you to search or browse the directory of resources on Westlaw. 
The main resource areas are in bold with subcategories listed under them. If you click on a main heading you will be able to see all of the resources listed under that heading. You can return to the previous screen by clicking back on your web browser. Key numbers is another important function in the Westlaw system. Key numbers allows you to search for cases based on over 400 major legal topics. You will learn more about key numbers in another video. The last two functions I will show you is the research trail and live help. You can access the research trail at any point by clicking on research trail at the top of the screen. The research trail will store all of your searches and documents viewed for 14 days. Live help is located above the research trail link. Live help will allow you to chat with a Westlaw reference attorney if you are having problems navigating the system or formulating a search strategy. That is it for your introduction to the Westlaw research system.